Hi, and welcome to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Rachel, and we're here today at the Osgood Dam Theater in Osgood, Indiana. I'm here with Steve Gloyd. Hi, Steve, how are you? Fine, you? Yeah. Great, thank you. So tell me a little bit about the theater. A little bit about the theater. Uh, the theater was uh, originally constructed in uh, 1892 as a, as a livery stable. It wasn't until 1920 that it was remodeled into a, into a movie or theater house. Uh, and it has remained uh, that since, the, since 1920. Uh, it was owned and operated by uh, one family, the Dam family, which is where we get our name, and uh, from 1920 to, uh, to 1989, which at that time they believed that, uh, that that may have been the longest running uh, single family owned theater in the state. Uh, it was actually mothballed between uh, 1989 and um, 2005 uh, was purchased by the, uh, the Reynolds Foundation. We, uh, we had an open house after the remodel um, on Sunday, December 28th in, in 2008. And then uh, the following day we had, a, uh, we had a free movie for the community to introduce the theater. Uh, which was Polar Express. Are there any other uh, things that the, the theater's used for other than movies? We're, we're proud of uh, its general purposes or all the purposes. Um, uh, not, you know, outside of just offering uh, movies on the weekend. We have, uh, we have live events here and we've had several uh, 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 interesting ones. Uh, we've had a, uh, the all-star rock concert. We, uh, we've had a wedding in the theater. We've, uh, we provide the theater to the local school to use for their, uh, for their talent shows. Their drama club utilizes it, uh, class programs. And um, then we have uh, private birthday parties and, and things like that that you would find at other offerings at other theaters. Did you keep any of the original pieces from the theater? The, uh, the theater has the, uh, the original uh, three brick thick exterior walls, which was a, that was a common construction uh, process back then. Uh, other than that, the, uh, the renovation actually made the theater longer and taller uh, because we added a balcony. And that was to uh, try to get back to the original amount of seating uh, that the theater had before. We, we seat 393 people and even though the building is larger than the previous footprint, uh, we seat less people. That It actually held 414 people prior to the renovation, but part of the uh, uh, influence, the seats weren't as wide. So uh, today with the comfort creatures, uh, seating, seating was limited. Are you telling me people got wider? I'm just kidding. People are, are bigger than they used to be. Okay, so, but you kept um, some of the pieces like the um, original, you do have the original ticket booth. Most of the original equipment we, we you have. You have uh, in the, in the historical museum. Is, is, on, uh, is on display at, the, as, at our uh, local museum. And the, um, you had a popcorn maker, right? I saw. Once again. That right. item was, uh, was saved in, um, and the theater all the way up until uh, 1989 still uh, operated with a, with a arc lit projector, which was, uh, was the uh, burning of uh, electrical rods to generate a bright light in where uh, most theaters operate with a lamp house on the back of the uh, mounted to the projector. Uh, today we've converted over to the digital digital technology um, as forced by the industry. I have to say this is one of the nicest theaters that I've ever been in. Um, to be in such a small town, I mean, this is such a nice, you, you guys have done really well with this place. Well, I appreciate that. Um, we, we have a lot of visitors from uh, outside the area that seem to always compliment us and become full-time or uh, re reoccurring uh, patrons. 
So, Steve, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, any anything else interesting about the place? The uh, some of the earlier history uh, of the theater is uh, is pretty exciting. I'm and and maybe not necessarily the person to uh, to tell the story, uh, but some of the uses were. Um, uh, live performances like vaudeville acts. Uh, there was an orchestra pit that existed in front of the uh, the uh, old stage area, and um, brass railing, and, and the piano, and, and uh, uh, some of the uh, um, other uses usages were um, uh, local schools using the theater for uh, graduation ceremonies. Uh, there was a there was a dance floor that existed. Uh, on the second floor where now we use that area as a balcony but uh, uh, the dam family uh, boasted it being the uh, most uh, I guess the, uh, the the nicest dance floor in the largest auditorium uh, for for movies and live shows in the state at that time so Steve thanks for coming out and meeting with us today and thanks for joining us for another edition of history in your own backyard remember Travel, Travel slowly, slowly and, and stop, stop often. often. Goodbye.